Hello and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. So, we've talked to everyone up here and we've talked to everyone down there. We're going to go and talk to everyone over here. So we've had um, some quite exciting episodes, last couple ones. This one's going to be more relaxed. We're going to just talk to people, maybe go do some things that we've been putting off. So, Cassandra. Writing does not come naturally to me, as I'm certain you can imagine. Hmm. Is everything all right? Are you all right? You seem very intent. I am. This needs to be done before I forget. As if written by a dim-witted child. <sighs> Historians will one day ask what happened at Adamant Fortress in the Fade. I wasn't there, but others were. Their accounts must be recorded. Hmm? Yeah, that's a good idea, I guess. I mean, I can't see anything that's completely wrong with that. That's an excellent idea, Cassandra. I certainly thought so, until I started writing. I see still don't know what to say about the spirit of the divine. The Chantry teaches us that the souls of the dead pass through the Fade, so it could have been her, yet even so. Hmm. You think that it's really possible? Do you really think it might have been her? A ghost? A ghost. A remnant of her hopes and memories. Her lingering will to do good. Those things are all possible. Nobody knows for certain what happens after we die. A spirit could have assumed her form, but why? It helped you, as Justinia herself would have. Hmm. I think it was just a spirit, really. I think it was a spirit, that's all. Perhaps it saw Justinia's soul and admired it enough Possible. to carry on her wishes. I hope that's true. I want to believe it. When they told me you were physically in the Fade, I was terrified for you. The last time such a thing happened, we created Darkspawn. We created Corypheus. The world needs to know the truth this time. No more legends lost to the ages. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Where are we? Oh, we're in the blacksmiths. Okay. Right, so we've spoken to Cassandra. Yeah, Sarah. Uh, I think we've spoken to Iron Bull as much as he will, but maybe you'll... Actually, you might have something else to say about the fade, so we'll... I'm popping. Hello? Inquisitor, come have a drink. To killing a high dragon like warriors of legend. Oh yeah, I forgot we did that. What are we drinking? What exactly am I supposed to be drinking? Maras, look. What does that mean? It means drink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know, right? Put some chest on your chest. Mm, that little gurgle right before it spat fire. And that roar. What I wouldn't give to roar like that. The way the ground shook when it landed. The smell of the fires burning. Toss it a thon halsam. You know, Kunari hold dragons sacred. Well, as much as we hold anything sacred. <laughs> Here, your turn. Okay, drink. <coughs> yes, the second. 
second cup's easier. Most of the nerves <laughs> in your throat are dead after the first one. Atashi. The glorious ones. <laughs> That's our word for them. Atashi. So why are they sacred? Why do you think the Kunari think of dragons that way? Well, you know how we have horns. We kind of look more dragony than most people. Maybe it's that. But a few of the Ben Hasrath have this crazy old theory. See, <clears throat> the Tamasrans control who we mate with. They breed us for jobs like you'd breed dogs or horses. What if they mixed in some dragon a long time ago? Maybe drinking the blood, maybe magic, I don't know. But something in that dragon we killed <sighs> spoke to me. Hmm. Well, this is awkward. When you put it like that, I'm worried I killed one of your gods or something. Nah, one of Tevinter's gods, maybe. They worship dragons, right? Kill the shit out of them all you like. Dragons are the embodiment of raw power. But it's all uncontrolled. Savage. So, they need to be destroyed. Taming the wild. Order out of chaos. <laughs> Have another drink. Okay. <laughs> nice. To dragons. <coughs> mm. Yeah, it's bad drinks. To whatever this is, and the hangover it's going to give me tomorrow. Anan. Oh, we are totally out of it. Okay. Just right. what I so I wonder what Sarah's going to be uh, talking about. Who advised before her? Does anyone remember? Why was it not the first in charge? She was the last prophet. Oh, we've already read that. Hello. Heard what went on in that fade thing. What you think went on? I can't even start to believe that business. Hmm. Well. I was there, I can't believe it. It's hard to describe. Guess you had to be there. No friggin' thanks. Some people are still there. Stroud, yeah? Lost a serious moustache there. And in trade, a busted down bunch of wardens. And they're always weird. Usually, bad stuff happens first, so you're glad when the hero shows up. But wardens are the wrong way round. They're the good thing that means a bad thing is about to happen. Like in Denerith, when the blight ended. Hmm. What was the bight like? It must have been rough living through the blight. Someone yells Darkspawn and then nothing happens for a long time. Then wardens show up and take your stuff. Or, you know, some prick noble takes your stuff because wardens may ask for it. Then you steal it back. So whatever. The first ones in line to screw everyone weren't Darkspawn. That's all I'm saying. Blackwall's nice though. Different from the adamant ones. Need more like him. Okay, she is not happy with us. Hmm. I guess, uh, like, keeping the organization around is kind of the opposite of what she's after. Her chaos thing. So, we've spoken to these people. Nobody down there. Cole, Vivienne, and... Oh, we've got to talk to Varric has a quest for us. Okay. So, try to work out a route round. So, kind of top floor, I think. So, is he up there? Hmm. Uh, Cole always runs around the place. Oh, we also got to speak to Cullen, I think. He'll have something to say. So, Cole will be over here. Or is it through here? There he is. 
Ooh, something to loot. Ah, cool hat for uh, cool. Okay. Let's just ditch this. We'll take the hat. Right, hello. No, but you like demons. I enjoy the company of spirits, yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. It isn't abuse if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. He won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. Um, help do what? We just saw the Grey Wardens try to raise an army of demons. You want Solus to bind you. He has to! If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. And what if the binding changes you? Isn't it extreme for Solus to bind you? What if that takes away the part of you that makes you... You. Helping makes me who I am. I help the hurting. That is what I do. All I do. Am. Me. And if binding you erases your mind? Your consciousness? You wouldn't make me hurt innocent people. I don't want to hurt innocent people again. Hmm. We'll figure something out. There has to be some middle ground between do nothing and bind coal with blood magic. Indeed. I recall stories of amulets used by Ravani seers to protect spirits they summon from rival mages. A spirit wearing an amulet of the unbound was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect coal as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Good. They will not take me. Hmm. Okay. He's getting a little bit more unstable. We're going to need to keep an eye on him. Right. Last person to talk to is Cullen. And then we will move on to going somewhere. Out of curiosity, we have a quest in the corner about our Inquisitor's Path. How close are we to that? It's be Way of the Champion is the one we're looking for. Need to duel some champions. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll find some of those where we're going. Oh. Hello? Close all you like. I have this one. Are you sassing me, Commander? I didn't know you had it in you. Why do I even... Inquisitor. Leaving, are you? Does this mean I win? <laughs> Having fun. Are you two playing nice? I'm always nice. You need to come to terms with my inevitable victory. You'll feel much better. Really? Because I just won. And <laughs> I feel fine. Don't get smug. There will be no living with you. I should return to my duties as well. Unless you would care for a game. Yeah, you're on. We're gonna beat you. Prepare the board, Commander. As a child, I played this with my sister. She would get this stuck-up grin whenever she won, which was all the time. My brother and I practiced together for weeks. Oh, the look on her face the day I finally won. Between serving the Templars and the Inquisition, I haven't seen them in years. I wonder if she still plays. Hmm. Tell me about your family. Are they around? You have siblings. Two sisters and a brother. Where are they now? They moved to South Reach after the Blight. I do not write to them as often as I should. Oh, it's 
my turn. Um, what well, was going to play fair? All right, let's see what you've got. He won't like us letting him win. This may be the longest we've gone without discussing the Inquisition or related matters. To be honest, I appreciate the distraction. Yeah, me too. You can't be serious all the time. Well, maybe you can. <laughs> I believe this one is yours. Well played. Okay. So we gotta to speak to Varric and head out. We'll probably be doing Iron Bull's quest where we have to go and speak to the Ben Hasrath, I think it is. And then probably Varric's quest, whatever that turns out to be. Okay, so Varric's just in on our right here. Yeah, there he is. Who's this? I appreciate the warning, but you shouldn't have come yourself. What if the guild found out, or what's his name? Are you worrying for me or for yourself? A little of column A, a little of column B. I am the expendable one, after all. Oh, <laughs> don't worry, I'll protect you. We'll just have to... Well, this is a surprise. You're the Inquisitor, right? Bianca Davry, at your service. Bianca? Like the crossbow? Your name is Bianca. It's a common name. Half the girls in the Merchant's Guild are named Bianca. The other half are named Helga. I lucked out. Friend of Varix? I take it you're a friend of Varix. Who isn't a friend of Varix? You have met him before, right? You're avoiding my questions. What's going on? What were you talking about? Bianca's got a lead on where Corypheus got his red lyrium. The site of Bartrand's Folly, the tag Varric found, has been leaked. There's a deep roads entrance crawling with strange humans carting out red lyrium by the handful. Uh, is that their only way in? How do we know they're not using multiple entrances to get to the tag? Navigating the deep roads isn't like the surface. There's no accurate maps of the whole system, and there are cave-ins, darkspawn, lava floods. If you find a route that gets where you're going, you don't deviate. Trying to find another way could be deadly. So who looked the location? Who could have given away the Tig's location? There were a few people who knew. Hirelings from the expedition, a couple of close friends. How they found out isn't important. What matters is we know where they are now. And you know where it is. So where is it? If it's such a secret, how do you know about it, Bianca? Oh. I told her. Right after the expedition, I wrote and told Bianca what we found. I had artifacts that needed buyers, and she had more contacts that would pay for them. Plus, I owed her. And that's in Kirkwall, right? You can get there from Orlay. It's a long way to the free marches. The deep roads are all connected. Or they used to be. Collapses and such. Some of them on purpose. They really are roads. They spanned the Dwarven Empire. Went to every corner of the continent. Maybe further. In theory, you can get to any tag using the deep roads, but in practice, well, there's a reason nobody uses them anymore. Hmm. Well, we should definitely stop this. We need to deal with this. As long as he has this source, Corypheus is that much more powerful. I couldn't agree more. I'll keep an eye on their operation. If you're interested in shutting it down, you've got my help. Try not to leave me waiting too long, Varric. I've got my own work to do, you know. Right. That's not going to be trouble at all. Let me know when you want to head to the entrance. Okay. Um, realizing there is one last thing. I know I'm saying this a lot. But we need to get rid of some of our inventory space so that if we go out somewhere and there's something we want to pick up, we can actually, well, do that. I think we have some just like, rubbish to sell. Meh, yeah, nine inventory slots, that's fine. Right. So, do we go speak to the Ben Hathras or go and 
stop red lyrium. There's also one other place I want to go. I want to go to... There's a shards thing or something like that. Or Anyway, we'll look at it on the map when we send people out. Okay, we got a new Inquisition perk. Have we got which one? Oh, we're looking for um, oh, is it Deft Hands Fine Tools? We need four points in the category. We have one, two. Right, where are we going? Chance to get extra herbs. Um, grants additional fifty percent XP for each foe studied, including those already um completed, applied retroactively. Okay, let's do it. Wait, did we have more? No, that was it. Uh, so let's get the hand in. So, we've got. so, celebrate the dragon slaying. Our able bodied workmen have mounted the head in a conspicuous location. It's rather vulgar for my taste, but the nobles find it endlessly entertaining. So, we got a superb amulet of willpower from that. Investigate man accused of abomination. Inquisitor, when I arrived, a, group of, a crowd of citizens in Jadar were pressed up against the hall of a local noble. They demanded the nobles give the man accused of being an abomination, Gnome Willet, for justice. Willet came out, not wishing his host to suffer, and they swarmed him for his courage. I stepped between him and the crowd, and the sight of the Templar's armour brought the people back to their senses. I persuaded them to leave the matter to us. It is a good thing I did, as Willet is no abomination, only a mage newly come to his powers. He is timid, but grateful, and willing to begin his training when we return, Sir Barris. For a time, finding the missing seekers seemed to be impossible. Early indications pointed to these men and women hiding, one at a time, into Ferelden. No, heading one at a time into Ferelden. But here their trail went cold. A chance rumour began... Uh, a chance rumour regarding Ban Lurin, a Ferelden nobleman who had not been heard from for months, led Inquisition agents to investigate Kerr Oswin, and they too went silent. These events are connected, and it seems... This is where the missing seekers will be found. Oh, okay, so we've got something else we can do. Let's send the, out these people. We got another one? Okay. Diverting soldiers in the frost packs. Correspondent sent to Commander Cullen from Lieutenant Kestrel. Commander, we're able to track down the Red Templars and put an end to their activities. We supply their former prisoners so they might make their way home. From Mother Giselle, we will conduct prayers for our soldiers and the kind sisters who lost their way through the frostbacks. May they find peace at the Maker's right hand. So we've got a new operation, Pursuit Through the Mountains. Uh, which I think we should do now. Commander, we're able to undercover... In we're able to uncover information on the routes the Red Templars use in the frostbacks. How shall we proceed? Well, we... Um, wait, we can't use her? I just won't participate. Assassins can eliminate sentries, or we set up an ambush. Uh, let's set up an ambush. All right. Hard and High Town, trouble in Skyhold. Copies of Hard and High Town and Hard and High Town Three with three punching sit side by side on the table with a note. Nightingale found several similarities to events in Varric's books, but all are slightly off. Dead magistrate was not in his home. Man found murdered in locked room was. A comp, not magistrate. Executors did not send warning note directly to Donnan. Obviously, object of plot is sort of Hesvran, not Penny Dreadful Author. Look close at the ripped off book. Shows numerous grammatical and spelling errors that seemed random at first, but ciphers believe it might contain coded information. Killer and author are clearly linked. Either the murder investigation or the code might lead us to a target. Scrimfer. Um, well, we'll send Liliana Let's to do that. We have. The time remaining on these are insane. Uh, obtain amulet for Cole. Regardless of whether Cole is a demon or a spirit, he remains vulnerable to vetina vetatory, venatory. That's it. Binding magic. 
The Amulet of Unbound, used by Ravini Sears, is said to protect spirits from such magic, however finding such an amulet in the part of the world will be difficult. Josephine, you can do it. Right, and we're going to go, I think, to the Storm Coast first. Where is Storm Coast? Ah, oh, there it is. So, who are we going to take? Well, we have to take Iron Bull, because this is where his quest is. Um, who else? Solus or Dorian? Dorian. I think we'll take Dorian. And that really freaks me out. Who else? I think Sarah has some quests we can do. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, no, it's um, Varric's the one that... Uh, Varric's the one that we need to take. That was it. Because he has some... If we find Red Lurian deposits, we need Varric with us. Okay. Not there. We also should probably take Blackwell, but we can't because we have to take Harem Rule. Yeah, I haven't been here in a while. Last time I was here, I, th I think we found a dragon fighting a giant or something. Hmm. Anyway. Not what we're here for now. Hmm. If it loads. All right. Oh. Our Kunari contact should be here to meet us. He is? Good to see you again, Hisrod. Gat! Last I heard, you were still in Saharan. They finally decided I'd calm down enough to go back into the world. Boss, this is Gat. We work together in Saharan. It's a pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor. Hisrad's reports say you're doing good work. Einbull's name is Hisrad. Under the Kuhn, we use titles, not names. My title was Hisrad, because I was assigned to secret work. You can translate it as Keeper of Illusions, or... Liar. It means liar. Well, you don't have to say it like that. Well, pleased to meet you, I guess. I look forward to working together. Hopefully this will help both our peoples. Tevinter is dangerous enough without the influence of this venatory cult. Yes. Filthy, decadent brutes, the lot of them. I'm certain life would be much better for all of us under the Kium. It was for me, after the Canari rescued me from slavery in Tevinter. I was eight. The Kyun isn't perfect, but it gave me a better life. I was going to say, you don't look like yes. a canary. One free from all that pointless free will and independent thought. Such an improvement. Yeah, let's focus on the mission here. Let's not get in an argument. Arguing about the war between your two nations isn't going to help anyone right now. I'm not here to convert anyone. All I care about is stopping this red lyrium from reaching Minrathos. With this stuff, the Vince could make their slaves into an army of magical freaks. We could lose Sahara and see a giant Tevinter army come marching back down here. The Ben Hasrath agree. That's why we're here. Our dreadnought is safely out of view and out of range of any Venatori mages on shore. We'll need to eliminate the Venatori, then signal the dreadnought so it can come in and take out the smuggler ship. And are there going to be mages there? There might be Venatori mages on the ship as well. If the Dreadnought can't handle them. It's unlikely there'll be more than two or three mages on the ship, and they'll be dead by the third shot. On land, though, a half dozen Venatori attacking the Dreadnought from cover could do some serious damage. And why not just attack the ship at sea? If it's dangerous for the Dreadnought close to shore, why not attack when the smugglers reach open water? Any decent smuggling ship can outrun a Dreadnought on open water. We need to catch them close to shore. And why are we not, like, bringing the whole army, like, Canary army here? I could have crushed any Venatori resistance or Inquisition. with the Inquisition's main forces. Four? Why not use them? Because then the Venatori would have seen you coming and run. They'd schedule a new shipment for later, and our spies might not know when or where. Well, that kind of makes sense. Yes, but it's our best chance to destroy the shipping operation permanently. Bull, is this, uh... Sound reasonable to you? What do you think, Bull? Mm, don't know. 
I've never liked covering a dreadnought run. Too many ways for crap to go wrong. If our scouts underestimate enemy numbers, we're dead. If we can't lock down the Venatori mages, the ship is dead. It's risky. Riskier than letting Red Lyrium into Minrathos? Well then, I guess we're ready. Let's go hold up our end of this bargain then. My agent suggested two possible locations the Venatori may be camped to guard the shore. There, and there. We'll need to split up and hit both at once. I'll come with you, boss. Krim can lead the charges. Let me fill him in. Come by when you're ready to move. Okay. Let's see if Gat will talk to us some more. Just waiting on you and his rod or Iron Bull, I guess. Okay. So you know more about him? You knew Iron Bull back when he fought in Sahara. Yes. He led the group that freed me. I was a Magister's slave, and when the Magister went to Saharon, he brought me along. For company. Iron Bull and his men attacked my master's ship and killed him, as well as his soldiers. Bull set me free. And then you joined the Kuhn. And you decided to start following the Kuhn after that? What do you think? I just watched a giant horned warrior kill the Magister who hurt me. Hmm. Bull's never talked about this. He never told me about this. One of the few things he hasn't shared with you, I gather. Sure, Bull. Share the secret Ben Hasrath reports, but keep that bit where you save the elf boy to yourself. Is he in trouble? Is Bull going to get in trouble for passing those reports on? The Ben Hasrath aren't pleased with how forthcoming Bull has been, but he was one of their best agents. He kept the streets clean and Sahara on longer than anyone before him or after. He fought until it nearly killed him. Ben Hasrath trust him enough to accept how he joined the Inquisition, even if they don't like it. Besides, they hate to discard a tool that might still have some use left in it. That's why I have a job. Um, so you're not happy with your new life? Sounds like following the Kuhn hasn't always been easy. I had a temper. Bull's nickname for me, Gat, comes from Gatlock, the explosive power in Canary Cannons. I was so angry when I was first freed. I wanted revenge. I wanted to find my family who was still enslaved in Minrathos. I thought about leaving when the Kuhn didn't tell me what I wanted to hear, but I didn't. Why not? The Canari were always ready to listen, to teach. They cared for me as much as one of their own. And if I leave, the parts of the Kuhn that I don't like are never going to change. Ah, oh, so you're trying to change it from the inside. You have a minute to talk about the Kuhn. I'm a spy inquisitor, not a teacher. I'm not interested in converting anyone or debating the philosophy. But I suppose it would make for an interesting report to hear the Inquisitor's opinion of the Kuhn. Yeah, it's just very different. I'll be waiting here. That was not... I thought it was going to let me select a conversation option, not try and hit him with an axe. That wasn't let me know when you're ready. my opinion of the Kuhn. Please don't uh, take that one back. Oh, we've lost that option forever. How did an elf end up working for the Kunari out here? The Ben Hasrath usually pick elves or humans to work outside of Kunandar. They're a little harder to spot. I've worked in Orle and Navara, but only for a few years now. And before that? What did you do before that? When I was old enough, I fought to Vinter Forces in Saharon. I was too angry to do much else. It took me a long time to accept the Kuhn, to get past justice to purpose. Some days are still difficult. And how will working with the Canary help us? Well, I mean, I know the obvious answer. There's lots of Canary who will help us like, actually fight things, but anything else? No one's actually detailed how an alliance with the Canary will help the Inquisition. The answer to that is above my rank. But the Canary don't really bargain. They don't know how. I doubt you want Canary troops stomping around your stronghold, and you're too far away for supplies to be useful. You get more use out of our ships, I imagine. And the agents we've got spread across Thedas. We know a lot more than what Bull sees in those reports he's been forwarding to your spy master. Ah. Uh -huh. I'll let you know when we're ready. I await your pleasure, Inquisitor. Okay. Well, let's level up. Okay, can't click on those to... Uh, okay. Fine. We'll do it this way. Um, what are we going to level? 
Looks like we're going down here. Got a guard smasher, learned th how to do more damage to guard. That's quite useful. Let's take that. And someone else needs to level up. I think it was Dorian. Oh, he has two points to spend. Back out here. Oh, we've got a few points left here. What would this one do? Spirit Mark. Targets kill... Uh, targets you kill, Spirit Mark, and I fight for you longer and harder. Okay. Horror. Um, reduce their armor while, it's un while they're under the effect. And take Spirit Damage. Okay. Sounds good. Set. Everyone's leveled up. Right, I think we'll head out to fight the Venatori next time. See you then. Goodbye.